Okay, boys and girls, welcome back. This is Mr. Myers coming to you live, continuing our Sketch.io education. If you haven't watched my first Sketch.io video, please do that. I'll put the link to the video in the description. You're gonna need that knowledge before you continue on to this video. In this video, we're gonna expand on what we learned last time. And we're gonna learn how to use the paintbrush tool. Now the paintbrush tool, it's like, the black hole of art tools. There is just so much that you can do using the paintbrush tool. And today we're gonna create a tropical sunset painting using the paintbrush tool and the path tool that we learned in the previous video. Let's get started. And once you get there, we're gonna click on this plus sign. Remember, that's how you create a new uh, file or a new drawing. And we want custom size. Make sure you are set to inches. And we're gonna pick 11 by um, 8.5 inches. Again, that's the size of the paper that's usually at your printer at home. Make sure it's blank and create. So since we've already learned the vector tool, we're gonna to review that in a moment, but I wanna show you the paintbrush tool. So make sure you go over to this toolbar and select of this menu, you want paintbrush. Now, with the paintbrush, there's a lot of different settings on the paintbrush that are gonna change the size and style of your brush stroke. Make sure this menu is clicked uh, onto normal for fill, we don't want any fill, so we want to make sure that this X is through, this cross is through this teardrop, okay? Outline, that's going to be um, basically the color of our stroke. Um, let's pick like a baby blue for now, okay? Now, this is what's going to be important here. We have line width and blur. And the cool thing about sketch.io is it previews what our brush stroke is gonna look like before we get started. So line width is how wide our brush stroke is gonna be. So if I move this slider, we kind of, well, hold on a second. If we move this slider, you can see how wide or thin my brush stroke is going to be. Now our goal here is going to be to paint a tropical sunset. So just like my man Bob Ross, we're gonna start with a background first. So what I want to do is I wanna have a wide line width. It's gonna look like a big like spray paint can uh, stroke, okay? So I'm gonna go extra wide here. Now blur, you'll notice, is gonna dissipate my stroke. It's the wider I go out, the more transparent it looks and the more spray painty ish it looks. So I'm gonna go, let's set this to like 60. Okay, let's go to this toolbar here and let's go to the zoom tool, click on that. And here I could slide, I could zoom in or out of my drawing. I want to, I'm gonna cover the background up so I wanna make sure that I'm totally zoomed out or if I click this thing, it says zoom to fit, which is nifty. Let's do that. Boom. Now I can see my entire uh, canvas. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our paintbrush tool that we just set up. Nope, I don't want that. Make sure I have this selected. And then I'm gonna cover my canvas in blue. Make sure you go all the way over the edges. Okay, now I want a sunset. So I want different colors like orange, purples, magentas, okay? I'm gonna keep my line width and my blur the same. So all I have to do is go to outline and I love magenta, let's click on that. For my outline, I'm going to try to do a nice parallel even stroke like that. 
Tell you what, I'm going to increase my line width. Okay. Let's do a few more colors. I'm going to do an orange. Alrighty. Do a yellow. If you want to undo something, remember, like I don't like where I place that yellow, I could always go to layers and I could turn off my layer like that. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, I want to leave about the bottom third blue. If you grew up in the 90s like me, you would call, this is like a Lisa Frank drawing. Okay, so I have my background. This bottom blue here is going to be our water, okay? So let's use a different tool. In your toolbar menu, you will see a star or another shape. Click on that, click on the star over here again, and we could pick any shape we want, but we want to draw the sun. So I'm going to pick a circle. Now I want my sun to be orange, so I'm going to go to fill, I'm going to click color, and I'm going to pick a dark orange, maybe a little bit lighter. Now I don't want a black outline around my sun, that would be a threatening sight. So I'm going to click an X through my outline. Now this, these shape tools are similar to the path tool. I'm going to make my sun about this big. You just wait guys, this is going to be so cool. All right. Now I have an object just like a path tool that I can move around. Okay, make sure your sun is selected and somewhere in the middle. Bear with me one second. I feel like I have too much water. I want more sky. Okay. Now, this is when we're going to use the path tool. So I hope you practiced with your path tool last week. Go to paintbrush. Let's go to path. Now, we're going to draw the foreground. We're going to draw a beach and palm trees that are very close to us. And believe it or not, those are going to be black. So we're going to go to fill. Turn that on. Go to color. Select black. Outline, I do not want an outline, so I'm going to turn it off. Now, why don't you guys watch me draw the first palm tree and beach, and beach first? Watch me draw that first. So, our beach foreground. I don't want this... totally flat. So I'm going to make a bunch of anchor points. I'm going to go off the page and close the object up. Okay. So now I have a beach and you're probably like, Mr. Myers, what are you talking about? I've never seen a black beach before in my life. Well, maybe we're in Iceland, but we're going to have palm trees. So we're not in Iceland. Just follow along. Turn off the art critic in your brain. Palm trees. We could do this. These are going to be somewhat complicated paths, but we're going to break it down. So again, our path tool really only makes... What the heck happened to my drawing? Whatever. Our path tool really only makes straight lines, so we want a lot of anchor points to kind of make the illusion that it's 
smooth. Okay? If you're comfortable, you can zoom in using this tool. The wheel on your mouse might do that as well. All right, so palm tree leaves, let's go. If you click your anchor points and slide at the same time, so I'm clicking down and I'm moving this little like lever over, you could curve your path lines. <laughs> Whoa, bro, it's like sur custom surfboard decal, bruh. Pretty cool. Okay, so there's one palm tree. So let's watch how I do this again. Do, do, do. If you're feeling good, you can click, click, slide, click, click, close that object up. Now we have our trunk. The way I'm making my leaves is I start, right? Now I go to where I want the tip of my leaf to be. And as I do that, I'm just going to hold down and slide and it's going to change the shape. Click again like that. None of this is going to be perfect. We're learning how to do this. Don't get frustrated. Oops, like that one. That was not a perfect leaf. Don't be afraid to go in front of the sun a little bit. That's kind of a whack looking palm tree, but what are you going to do? All right. There we have it. We have a tropical sunset using sketch.io. So this is how we did it. We Use the paintbrush for the background, making sure we had a, a wide uh, line width and we had a, a, a wide blur. Then once we did that, we created a circle using the circle tool at the toolbar. And then we used the path tool to create the foreground um, with the beach and the palm trees. Now, if you're feeling totally wild and you're absolutely ready to uh, take over uh, the art world, we could go over to clip art, go over here. Let's search for person. Now I only want a black silhouette of a person. Okay. So I'm going to click on this dude. I'm going to grab a corner and shrink him down. If I hold down shift, it doesn't mush him. If I, if you don't hold down shift, it'll kind of like mess up the ratio there. You don't want to do that. So make sure I have him selected. I'm going to hold down shift as I resize. Boom. Now I have someone in the foreground. Pretty cool, right? Don't get frustrated. I gave you a lot. Please feel free to start and stop this video as you're watching. Please use the tools that I showed you. Don't go crazy with the clip art. We really want to learn how to use the paintbrush tool and um, keep using the path tool. We are slowly going to be building towards a more complicated project, which I'll be posting in a couple weeks. Thanks for watching.